Well, this weekend marks one year since an underground fire triggered a downtown South Bend power outage that crippled businesses. Yeah, it happened at a really bad time, too. One of the busiest weekends of the year for those businesses, the University of Notre Dame Commencement Weekend. WSBT 22's Kristen Bean joins us now live from downtown South Bend. Kristen, the outage meant a lot of businesses lost a lot of business that weekend. Yeah, thousands were in town expecting to visit downtown bars, downtown restaurants, and hotels. But when power went out that Thursday night, plans changed. WSBT 22 cameras captured the moment one year ago when the lights in downtown South Bend went out. All of these, these are all refrigerated coolers. You Sherry know. Huffer, the store manager at the South Bend Chocolate Cafe, remembers generators were brought in and food was moved into refrigerated trucks. Every downtown business, including Fiddler's Hearth, scrambled to save what they could and salvage an important weekend for business, Notre Dame graduation weekend. It was a long weekend, and of course, this is our busiest busiest weekend of, of, of the year. Unfortunately, while many businesses were able to stay open, the loss was significant. Huffer says the cafe lost an estimated $12,000 that weekend. I think the word just kind of got out, though, for the weekend that downtown was closed. So what happened? Indiana, Michigan Power says a deteriorating underground cable faulted, got really hot, and then melted another nearby cable. That released gases and created a fire. It interrupted power to some primary cables that feed the downtown South Bend network. And in order to prevent more damage, INM shut down all power to the downtown network. 800 customers, including most downtown businesses, lost power for about two and a half days. Over the last year, INM has hardened the underground infrastructure that powers downtown South Bend, and we will continue to enhance and modernize um, this equipment going forward. Since the outage, INM says it's replaced 5,000 feet of underground cable, reconfigured the arrangement of that cable, and fireproofed underground cable. But the company says there is still work to do. And now, a year later, businesses say they've made changes as well. Like I said, if it happens again, we're, we know what to do because we've been through it. Now, some businesses said they were reimbursed for their losses by INM, and all are hoping this weekend's graduation goes better than last year. Live in South Bend, Kristen Bean, WSBT 22 News.